Hi. This morning I want to show you how we can modify um, a glide cam to work with a GoPro, or in this case uh, the Yi action camera, and how we can get it to, to uh, both set up correctly but also balance so you can use it um, just like a, uh, any other stabilized camera on a glide cam. It was the, uh, the weight difference. These things are small and light. They're lighter than a cell phone. They're definitely lighter than a DLSR. And so getting the balance right is important. So the first thing I did was remove the weights off the bottom. Um, because it's too heavy. So after I removed the weights, I took a look at the, the length from here to here, this length. And I realized I wanted as short as possible so that when I actually have the, the balance here, it'll be close, uh, the balance would be easier than if, it's a, if this was a long arm. So that was the first thing. Then I noticed that the, this clip on top here, which is like this, which is great for a cell phone, but it doesn't really fit well with a action camera. So basically, I took a block of wood uh, use some double stick tape that I have and attach the block onto the base, put the camera on here, give it just a little more room. And then I can still adjust it left to right, like so. So let's take a look. Here it is, uh, set up. You can see here I have my piece of wood. It's um, attached with a piece of sticky tape. And I also had to do one other thing here. I added the washers from below. I had to add the weight on top to balance it out. So you may need to take two or three washers, you know, large or small, I don't know, but you'll need enough weight on the top so you can balance, counterbalance the weight at the bottom. <coughs> so here it is. Um, basically, let's just go ahead and put it on. Oh, let's remove the cap. You put this up like so. Okay, and you'll notice here I still have room for the, the buttons, right? And, um, and then I can slide this left or right uh, to get the, just the perfect balance. So here we go, I'm just gonna check this out here. You'll see there, I'm getting really super close. Gets balancing a little to the left, so what you need to do is move it. And um, I've done that like this, so here we go. It's still just a little bit, it's, it's shifting over this direction. So we just move it over a little bit, like so. And we are super close, super close. So let's just take a look. I'm going to go up and down. You can see it stays perfectly thing. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's just about right. It's tilting a little bit here and there, um, which I can fix. Looks like it needs to, uh, it's off a little bit. Okay, let me just uh, adjust that anyway. So basically that's it. You just adjust it a little bit. Get it so that it's just perfect for you. Your setup, up and down, up and down. All right, back and forth, back and forth. You just want to have it so it just is not moving around much at all. I have just a little bit of movement in there, which I'll have to play with to get out. But as you can see, that's all there is to it. A pretty simple setup. And you can see from a drop perspective, this is the, the weight issue, one, two about two thousandths of a second, or two, two seconds, excuse me. One, two, just about perfect. So it just glides easy and smooth. I can move it around. It doesn't have to move anywhere. It's just gonna be perfect. I can just go back, left, forward, right. It just glides along. Okay, let's test it up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, forward, back. Forward, back, forward, back. Let's move it around a little bit to see how it goes. Round and circle, we're going around a circle, 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 circle. And you can see I'm just uh, getting a little quick look here without 